Do you have relatives that give you strange gifts? Um, mine give me books. So I have a giant stack of books and some of them are multiples and I don't know why. DMCA. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Avocast Studios. I'm your host, Sir Stormchild. Uh, hopefully, I set everything up because uh, I'm not doing it again. <laughs> so, as you can see, the bottom half of my shelves. And uh, yes, I am sitting on the floor. Um, so, I was going through a bunch of these things. Like, my grandma and my aunt would send me books of all kinds of weird stuff. And uh, you're going to see how odd and very specific some of these are <laughs> for some reason i have the audubon society north american field guide to birds i had most of that in the right order i have no idea where i got this from probably from my grandma who likes to sit in front of uh, her window and uh look at birds why do i have that i don't know oh my aunt used to give me a subscription to writer's digest i couldn't remember the name <laughs> um they would come in every single month there's like you know like little short stories and like how to write uh things for you if they're still out there go check them out or at least get back issues that somebody has uploaded um i think this might be a two-parter there's a lot of things in here okay um a really old book probably from the 1800s called correct english second course by tanner um Oh, this is my great grandma's. That is a lot of names on this. I mean, there's there's a lot of names. This is a was this a high school book? Somebody's the last person to 92, 84. That doesn't make sense. They were dead before then. Okay. I didn't expect this to show up. Um in this, in this edition, for some reason. And this is like using correct words, um, uh, paragraphs, structural sentences. This is this this is basically a a textbook. Um, and my grandmother has written a poem in there. I have never read it. I didn't know this was in here. I know this stack of books was here. I did not know this was this. Let's find out together. Um, it's called a violet. I really hope this is recording. If not, I'm go I'll record it again. It's written in light pencil, so bear with me. A violet. Dear little modest violet, why do you hide from me? I have searched for you in the meadow and under the forest trees. You seem to be always hiding under your leaves of green. Why do you do this? Do you not want to be seen? You always bring me memories of childhood days gone by, the picking of violets for mother, as I walked along the broad roadside, you give me a feeling of tender need. Oh, you give me a feeling. Yep, 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 yep. You give me a feeling of tenderness that I get no other way. Oh, please raise your modest face and let me find you today. By my great grandmother, great great grandmother, Grace Coker. Where's the great grandmother? I don't know. She might have been the one that like taught me solitaire. <laughs> Um, actually, no, that kind of makes sense. That was really good, actually. I, you could tell this is like, like a high school book because somebody's like scribbled in all the, the little, uh, letters and interesting grandma. You took up half my video. Never stop. I love all my grandmas. They're cool. Um, no, what's that? I'll have to ask my other grandma. Anyway. Who cares? I have new English secondhand book. It's a lot newer than that one. Um, I don't know why this is this. It's another textbook of English. If you don't think like I actually know how to write <laughs> and I sound like a complete lunatic saying fuck all the damn time and not having like the right words in right places and shit, I know where they go. <laughs> I choose to be an ass. What is this? Uh, Roger's or Roget's thesaurus of the English language and dictionary form. Sexy title. 
Uh, Steo Sylvester Mawson. It's just a blank thing. It's got these nice little... Oh, man. I miss these tabs. These are super nice. It's like, oh, what do I want to get? I want to get to... It's never good when you like look at... like They have fullness and futile on the same fucking page. I mean, sure. But <laughs> future garment. Let's skip to another one that's probably less... That didn't work out. I got Petrifying Pick and Perspire and Petitioner. One more time. Come on. Trinity. Like a tree and Trinity. Trashy and Treaty. Well, that was a fun book. That was from my grandma's poem. But hey, what is this? Boy, that's old. Oh, look at that. Happy days. I'm guessing this one's an old one. How old is it? Oh, God. This like thing's falling apart. Why did I have it haphazardly thrown in this pile? Oh, that's dope. It's like the first thing you see. Oh, my God. It's falling apart. That's terrifying. Don't do that. A dragon breathing flame. Oh, this is cool. The parting of earth and heaven. This is by Joaquin Miller, Margaret Sidney, and A. Alfonso Ditton. I was trying to find a... Oh, God. This is even older. Who the hell's Ol Olsen Couch? Okay. Like, really old. 1920s. Clearly taken care of. Uh, I get a lot of stuff that um, other people usually don't want. <laughs> I know. Some people are like, oh, that's garbage. I'm like, is it? I have an English dictionary or an, an English, you know, textbook from my old grandmother who had a great poem in it. Is that garbage? You know? In that respect, probably not. This new English handbook for no reason? Possibly. I don't know why I own it. Let's go to this big stack here. Uh, this is a modeled mess. I don't know what this is. Is this the front? Is this the back? This is upside down. Obviously, it's the other way around. Okay. That's children's scribble. Oh, it's a Zane Gray novel. Oh, okay. Like, Zane, uh, Zane Gray had, did a lot of, like, uh, westerns and stuff. And it was, like, the Zane Gray uh, theater or something like that. It was a television show in the 50s. Is that this book is apparently called The Young Pitcher. Interesting. Kid's book about a... Oh, there's several things. There's the pitcher, varsity captain, the potato battery. That's probably about Irish people. The cage, the new players. Yeah, fascinating. I'll probably never read it. <laughs> that one probably should be like donated or something. I have less than a minute to get through this. Uh, dictionary of... Cultural literacy. That's a mouthful. Um, I don't know why I have this again. Okay, this is uh, this is from 1991. My grandmother gave my other grandmother a giant dictionary. Why are these things like that never come up in like normal conversation? These are weird things to have in family members. I would assume. Maybe. And this is a early one, a first dictionary of cultural literacy. I don't know what the fuck that means. Politics and economics. I mean, we're we're looking at this kind of structure here. I'm pretty sure there's a three button system. Judas Iscariot. Seems to be a lot about Jesus. Well, no, no. We got stuff about anatomy and Evolution, so it can't be that. <laughs> and the last one I have for this short little video is uh, college spelling studies. A vocabulary building studies. Oh my God, there's more stuff from my grandma. Apparently I inherited more of her crap. I wonder if there's more poems in there. This is just like a word study guide. Um, I have more stuff. Try to get through that. I wasn't blindsided by my grandma. Thank you so much for watching. Please be safe out there. I will see you beautiful people in the next one. And it'll probably be right here for you. It'll be a little later because I got to make like two videos now. <laughs> later, guys. You have no idea how hard it is to get over this stupid thing. I got to turn all this crap off now.